Sierra, my granddaughter, passed away in May, about a year ago. She was 15 and had cancer for 18 months that we know of. And for 18 months, she walked through the cancer storm and we walked with her. She was about the bravest person I ever knew and her mother too. When she reached a point in Houston at MD Anderson that we knew that we weren't gonna keep her much longer, we didn't want her to leave in Houston. We wanted her to come home. And we came home to Hendry Hospice. Um, they say uh, uh, any port will do in a storm, but that's, that's not true. We came to Hendrix and became our home uh, for a while. And the staff, the, Dr. Hirsch, his staff, Hendrix staff, nurses, administration, chaplaincy, were incredible for us. And I know that in time they will probably forget us and mm, that's okay. Um, they're pretty busy up there, you know, um, but we'll never forget them. A little bit about my mother. She was the one who was in hospice care. A lot of people knew Joanne, and um, she called my brother and I one day and said, I'm calling hospice, and um, we said, oh, you're calling hospice? Why? And she said, I'm just ready, and they're going to make it easier for me. They really encouraged us uh, to go ahead and, and put her in the hospice unit at the hospital because she needed really more direct care than, you know, what she was getting at her apartment, which was wonderful. That was, that was terrific anyway. Um, and uh, so we got her up to the hospice unit and she uh, fussed a little bit. She didn't want to go to the hospital, but they reassured her that it really wasn't the hospital. It was hospice. And um, they told us that she's going to be, she'll, she's safe there and she won't hurt. And um, they told us on that Monday afternoon, they said, go ahead and call um, anybody you need to call because it looks like she's probably going to make her transition in the next couple of days. And the joke was 19 days later, you know, <laughs> that she was, she was, you know, trying to make agreements, you know, up in heaven before she got there because she was always sort of an in control kind of person, take charge kind of person. And when she did, finally make her transition she looked so beautiful and the nurses cried with us and you know held us and um, still had that cocoon that you know that we were we really felt like we were wrapped in a lot of love and care and support um, it was a, it was a journey you know like no other um, but hospice made it a whole lot easier for us. Well, as, uh, as we all know, uh, there's never a good time to lose a loved one. And, but when you do, you are know, in the process of losing one, and uh, there's nothing that you can do about it. Um, having a place where you can go, uh, where they, you know that your loved one is being well taken care of, uh, they're as comfortable as they possibly can be, and then also the family itself are also being uh, administered to uh, by the staff and the people there and everything. Well, then there's no, there's no better place than Hendrick Hospice. Uh, Lynette and I both uh, have experience with that. My mother passed away in the unit there in June of 98 and her mother in November of uh, 09. 
And we just can't say enough good things about the way that uh, not only they were treated, but that we as a family were treated and administered to by the staff there. And, uh, and so it's, it's something that uh, we're proud to be associated with. Um, it uh, does a great job. And, uh, and I've, I've, I've told people before, it's not a place that you want to go, but uh, if you have to have use of the facilities of some place like Henry's Hospice, there, there's no better place to go. And I was so thankful when we put Mother there after her stroke that, that, that we had that place for her. And I, I, I can't say enough for the Hendrick Hospice nurses. That's, that's just such a special calling. They are, they are just wonderful, and it, not only with the patient, but, but also with the family. I, it's, it's just a wonderful place to, to let your loved one die with dignity. My husband Tom was diagnosed with cancer in 2008 and passed away about 14 months later. During his, oh, about last two months I guess, we were in, he was in Hendrick Hospital and, but at that time Tom was not ready for, for hospice care. And so he um, was transferred back to Rolling Plains Memorial Hospital where he had served as administrator for about 19 years. And there he was surrounded by the doctors and nurses and staff that he had so loved working with. So that was a, a, a great place for, for him to be and for me too. Our son and daughter-in-law who were in the Army in San Antonio and uh, our daughter-in-law Jen is is a physician there came up as often as they could and their last visit up they talked with me about hospice care so we um, met with with the staff and the information that they provided even at that initial meeting was so helpful and so we um, had hospice care for for Tom for a little while and the compassion and the caring that the nurse and the other staff showed was just was outstanding. After Tom passed away, that care and compassion continued but directed towards me. All in all, uh, I can't say enough positive things about Hendrick Hospice. Um, they've just been truly wonderful.